So we're here today uh, talking a little bit about identifying uh, dicamba injury to non-dicamba tolerant soybeans. Uh, kind of the status in Tennessee right now, uh, really compared to where we were the last couple years ago as far as dicamba entry to non-dicamba tolerant soybeans, uh, we're considerably better. Um, and I think some of it has to do with the training and, and I think a good bit of it probably has to do to the fact that, gosh, 95% of our soybeans are extend soybeans. So we got a lot of less soybeans that are, quite frankly, in harm's way. Um, being that as it may, we got about 100,000 acres of Liberty Lane ground up ready, just conventional soybeans out there that are sensitive to dicamba drift. And we are getting reports, and indeed I've been into a number of fields uh, where we have dicamba uh, drift symptomology on soybeans. Um, probably upwards of, of 30,000 acres right now is what I'm aware of or been in actually in a, in a lot of them. Some of it ranges from fairly severe injury to what we see here, pretty mild, slight cupping of the leaves. Uh, and what I'm standing in here today is just a really slight drift event. And an identifying characteristic of it is this cupping you see, which is what, what they always talk about. You can almost see it, um, it, it, it just from a distance. It kind of gives a white cast to the leaves when it's really pronounced. And that's just those edges showing as they cup. Uh, this, just from the research we've done, would be probably one ten thousandth, one fifteen thousandth of the field use rate out here, so a real minor drift event. But soybeans are so darn sensitive that even those will show some symptomology. Uh, but probably to the point, if you see it here, I wouldn't expect any yield loss because the injury is very, very slight and we've got excellent growing conditions. And that makes a big difference for how quickly they can come out of it uh, when exposed at low rates. Okay, so Dr. Steckel just went over what we would see typically in a minor drift event of dicamba. Uh, really low doses, very sensitive crop, um, soybeans. But something I want to go over is something you could probably be, probably see in Extend Soybeans, Liberty Link, or if there are any Roundup Ready beans, is Group 15 herbicide injury. So what that entails is anything like Dual Magnum, Zidua, Outlook, over the top. Uh, typically what we see is a little a little burning at some point if, the, if there's a lot of things in that tank mix. But one thing that's really characteristic, and some people may get confused with dicamba injury, is the draw string effect that it does on a soybean plant. And what it does is just cause this crinkling on the leaf surface and draws in the leaf tip uh, to look like it's cupping up. Uh, but in this case, it is dual injury and not what we would see with dicamba.